Phil's creepy vids. Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here. And I just wanted to go through today and show off my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Um, I've tried to get everything together that is Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the sequels, and uh, just show it off to all you guys so you can see what I have. Maybe I have a piece that you didn't even know about and want to add to your collection. And uh, just want to show you what I got and uh, share it with all you guys. So let's get down to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with DVDs and Blu-rays and just go through this pile. And then I'll show off uh, my collectibles after that. So first off we have the remake on DVD. And this is a cool addition because the whole thing unfolds into a chainsaw you see the saw blade there on the back uh, it comes with a little pamphlet of like uh, detective photos and stuff like that and when I also bought this it also came with this metal it's like a metal uh, faceplate metal so pretty cool addition Next, we have the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Edition. This comes with a pretty cool slip cover, and it says, A Toby Hooper film, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Edition, fresh after 30 years. And uh, the meat is actually embossed. If you open this, it's like embossed on the uh, plastic cover there. So, pretty cool addition. Really like that one. Like I say, I do own it on Blu-ray multiple times, but I uh, can't get rid of that one. Um, the saw does flap open uh, to give you your special features in there. But yeah, really cool addition. Glad to have that. Next, this is a documentary called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, A Family Portrait Revisited, a documentary. So really good documentary on everything. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre got some uh, special features on there. This is the DVD. Uh, don't think this is, this might actually be a bonus on one of the Blu-ray releases, not too sure. I think maybe the Ultimate Edition has this. And there you go guys, documentary. Next we have DVD. Uh, this is Leatherface Part 3. Uh, this is Unrated uh, and the Theatrical are on here. Got some special features on here. I actually really like Part 3. Uh, it's not, not obviously the best in the series, but definitely better than uh, the next one I'm about to show off. Next, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. This, of course, has Matthew McConaughey and uh, Renee Zellweger. And uh, it's not the greatest. It is what it is. I'm okay with it. But, uh, yeah, not my favorite in the series by a long shot. Next, we have the one that started it all. This is the 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition Blu-ray set. Um... And uh, yeah, it is really good. Slips out like that. You can slip it in uh, the other way. Looks like the metal metal door slam shut. But uh, yeah, I like to have it with Leatherface front and center. Like that. So yeah, 40th anniversary collector's edition. Really cool set. Love this one. And uh, really happy with it for sure. Next, we have the Ultimate Edition, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the original, and like it says, it is the Ultimate Edition. Comes with a whack of bonus features. Uh, I believe this is just one disc. Yeah, one disc. So that's that one. That is the Ultimate Edition. Next, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, this was a cool edition. Uh, bought this at Walmart because it came with a poster card So uh, I just slipped that into the back cover Looks pretty cool, but yeah, basically Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. It is the unrated version 
so really glad to have that on Blu-ray. Um, but then they came out with the collector's edition, uh, Screen Factory did. So this one is chock full with special features. And uh, if you're debating on which one of these to get, I would definitely go with uh, Screen Factory. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 Collector's Edition. Very, very, very good edition. Next, we have the Archive Collection, Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. This, again, is the unrated version. And uh, like I said before, really love this one. It's, uh, it's a good one in my opinion, probably my third favorite in the series. And uh, yeah, really, really good. Next, we have another remake, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is just the simple Blu-ray release. Uh, got some special features there, some commentaries. So this is the one with, of course, Jessica Biel. And uh, yeah, uh, really like that one. Next, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. This is the unrated cut. And uh, this is the sequel to the Jessica Biel one. And I'm okay with this one. Kind of goes into the history of Leatherface a little bit, but I'm okay with it. It is what it is. Next, we have Texas Chainsaw. This was the one that was in 3D in theaters. This is the 3D Blu-ray. And uh, I'm actually okay with this one. I kind of like it after multiple watches. Uh, didn't really love it at first, but I've grown to kind of like it. Uh, there's a showdown at an amusement park that's really, uh, really pretty cool. So yeah, Texas Chainsaw 3D. Next, we have the newest Leatherface. I did not like this movie very much at all, but uh, had to get it for my collection. And uh, yeah, uh, for me it was just a dis disappointment. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Next, we have the Two Disc Ultimate Edition Texas Chainsaw DVD Steelbook. This is, of course, a steelbook but it is a re-release re of the Ultimate Edition, so you do still have all those special features on there. And I'll just show you what it looks like inside. You have a little picture there of her being put up on the hook. So pretty good uh, steelbook there, DVD steelbook, Text Chainsaw Massacre Ultimate Edition, very cool. And next, the Text Chainsaw Massacre Blu-ray steelbook. Uh, I think this was a uh, Best Buy exclusive, not too sure, but I uh, got the saw there on the back. It's cool how they did it with the farmhouse on the top. Looks like the horizon, but then the horizon turns into the saw blade. Really good artwork on the back there. And uh, inside, yeah, just one disc. And uh, yeah, pretty, is there anything under? No, it's just black underneath that paper, so... Pretty bare bones steel book, but really nice to have a steel book of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that is all my Blu-rays and DVDs, and now on to some little figures here. First off, I believe this is from NECA. This is a little, uh, got a little base on there of Leatherface with the chainsaw. These are actually going for quite a bit of money now. Um, I don't really know why because it's so small, but uh, really good little leather face figure there. Uh, I don't really remember what these are called, but I have both the the normal, I think they're chunky, horror chunky something or other. But you have leather face there, he's got his apron on. Give him a quick once around. Really just kind of a cartoony uh, looking leather face there, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. And then the exact same thing, only this is the glow in the dark variant. You'll never be able to see the glow, but I'll try it for you guys anyway. Oh yeah, he's glowing a little bit there. So you can tell glows in the dark pretty good. So yeah. Just the exact same thing, just a glow-in-the-dark kind of plasticky resin there. Give them the once around again. And 
And when he glows in the dark, you can see more of the details and stuff, but pretty cool figure. Next, this is the Mystery Mini from Funko. Uh, I just have the regular version, not the Blood Splattered, which is going for crazy money right now. But yeah, a little Mystery Mini leather face. The hair detail is really good. And actually, the teeth on the saw is really good if you feel it. It's like definitely textured like uh, teeth there so pretty good mystery mini next these are uh, I forget what these are called mesits so you have a little leather face there and he has a little workbench with a vice little feet holes for him to stand in there I think it's mesits pretty sure from Mezco but yeah, pretty cool uh, little leather face there. And once again, this is the second wave of the Mezco. This is leather face from part two. And behind him you have the bloody hooks and a bucket of body parts that just fell out. You see the head floating in there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it just sits in there and then the... Uh, has the feet holes like the other one for him to stand in. So I like those little mini figures. They don't take up a lot of room. So next we have some loose figures. I have Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. This is the retro cloth. I love how the saw says the saw's family. If that'll focus, don't know. But yeah, really good rendition of Leatherface from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. He does stand. Once I get him up on the shelf, I'll position him to stand pretty good. There he's standing pretty good on his own there. But uh, yeah, retro cloth Leatherface. And next we have the Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. This is a NECA. I did open this. I got this when it first came out back in the day when I wasn't really too fussy on whether I opened shit or not. But uh, now that I've opened it, you can get a really close look. The detail in his face is good. He's, he's holding uh, a, a skin mask there of a helpless victim that he's carved the face off of. So that's pretty cool. And he, of course, has his bloody chainsaw there. So, really nice one from Tex Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. This is, I believe this is a cult classics. Uh, Tex Chainsaw Massacre Part 1. Once again, this is open. This is the bloody variant. And a uh, really nice rendition of Leatherface from Tex Chainsaw Massacre Part 1. He has the uh, chainsaw, which you can see is pretty warped. I don't know who you're going to kill with that chainsaw, but that is pre-warped chainsaw. But uh, nonetheless, pretty good figure from uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of Leatherface. Really, really nice. NECA put that out. Next, we have Sergeant Hoyt from the remake he is at the back of the van there's the hole where she blew out her brains this is like a little diorama or diorama sheriff hoyt at the back of the van and really good detail um this actor passed away about a year ago maybe now very sad uh but yeah, very nice little uh, diorama of the back of the van with Sheriff Hoyt. Next, we have... This is Uncle Monty from the remake. And he has his little stub legs there, and he's in a wheelchair. When she first comes into the house, it even has his uh, bag of urine there with a catheter... The detail that goes into these figures I tell you but yeah really good uh, rendition of Uncle Monty there it's gonna be banging on the floor with his cane to summon Leatherface very very nice 
Next, this is the big boy. This is the Mezco uh, Roto stylized figure. So these are kind of cartoony looking figures. But uh, if you can see his face in there, pretty gnarly. Really bloody. I love the blood on the arm and the blood on the chainsaw. It's like totally blood. And blood on the hand and the hammer there. The head of the hammer is all covered in blood. And then, really nice, it is a clothed figure, so that is Mezco Roto stylized Leatherface. Next, we have a head knocker. This is from NECA. This is the Leatherface head knocker. Really, really nice figure. Comes with a base, it's got a bucket with a hand in it and some bone. It says Leatherface on the base. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. It is solid resin and his head does bobble very nice as you can see So if you're into bobble heads, this is a really really nice one But yeah, uh, NECA Leatherface bobble head pretty pretty cool. That is from Texas Chainsaw Massacre part one the original Next, just a couple odds and ends here. There's a Leatherface Mad Balls. So you got the Mad Balls, you got the mallet in the back of the head with the brains oozing out. Just one of those little Mad Balls, Leatherface. And uh, this I got in Fright Crate, Leatherface Goblet. It's got some uh, skulls around the base there, pretty cool. Leatherface Goblet. And just put the Mad Ball right in top. Next we have, this one is Gentle Giant. This is 245 out of 1000. So this is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. That's a bust. A bust of Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. The base is really nice. It comes with like, it's all made of skin and flesh and has people's hands in it. And there's a face right there you can see in the base. But yeah, really nice detail on that. Love the pose, love the chainsaw. Um, love this piece in general, it's one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, Gentle Giant, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two Leatherface. And then this one is NECA. Uh, this is, I got 27 out of 1500, so a really, really low number on this one. But this is Leatherface from, of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 1, and this just is a bust. Uh, it doesn't have any arms, but uh, really nice base on this one as well. You can see all the detail in the uh, bones that surround the base there. And there's someone's face. Pretty woman mask, maybe. Nice little spinal column right there. Nice little blood splatter detail on the chainsaw and really good detail in the face there. I don't know whether that'll show up or not, but it actually looks right out of the movie. So really good sculpt on that one. Uh, love this piece as well. I'm glad it's in my collection, but uh, just thought I'd share it with you guys so you can enjoy it as well. Almost done, guys. We have... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Ultimate comes with the pretty woman mask, comes with the chainsaw. These are all in box. And uh, yeah, pretty much Texas Chainsaw Ma Massacre Ultimate figure. Really nice uh, reproduction of the poster art there. And you have some pictures of the figure on the back. Next, this is Cinema of Fear Screen Grabs. This is from the remake. It's the black and white variant of Leatherface chainsawing the guy who's hanging on the chandelier up from between the legs, which I'm sure would suck. But uh, you see the blood splatter there coming out the back of the chainsaw, and it's just a little screen grabs. So really nice to have this in my collection as well. Let me know in the comments if you have any of what I've shown off today. I'd love to hear what you have. I'm running out of room to put stuff. 
Next, this is called Classic Series 2. Uh, this is Leatherface, kind of pretty woman mask there. Uh, and he comes with an armadillo, comes with a base for it to stand on, and the chainsaw, of course. And he's kind of in a running pose when you uh, set him up. I've seen pictures of this set up. I've never taken this one out of package, so I'll probably never see mine set up, but there's a picture on the back. This is Cult Classic Series 2, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. Very nice, very nice. Next we have Cinema of Fear Series 1. This is Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, comes with a nubbins figure. Uh, comes with an uh, alternative head. And a whole whack of stuff comes with a razor, coat hanger, yada, yada, yada. But that is Chop Top from Cinema of Fear. Text Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. There's the back with all the others that you can collect. And I just dropped it. I obviously have that one. So yeah, Chop Top. Text Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Really nice. And I think this is the last one. This is Cinema of Fear, The Hitchhiker from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And really good detail on it as well. It's got the knapsack, camera, razor blade, and uh, looks like a switchblade as well. So there it is, guys. There's the Hitchhiker Cinema of Fear. Here's the others on the back you can collect. I obviously have that one. But yeah, really, really nice figure. So uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit of a fan of Tex Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you like Tex Chainsaw Massacre? Um, you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. Uh, so show my man Leatherface some support, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and thanks so, so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. But uh, anyways, that's my time. We're at 22 minutes. Thanks for yours. Have a great night, guys. Peace!
So if you guys like that video, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in Phil's next video. Peace!